only one. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's tie is going to be based on how to cut a drap skirt using cutting fabric. I'm using three yards of this cutting fabric. This is three yards. I'm using three yards for it to make it fall very well. So now I'm going to fold this into four. This is into two. You can see this is into two. Now I'm going to fold it into four now. Now this is into four. You can see this is into four. So the next thing I'm going to start with here is the length of the skirt. The length of my fabric here is 45, but the length of my skirt here is 40. It has a band, so I'm using 43 for the length, then 2 inches for the band. So I'm starting from here. So this is the 43 inches. So I'm going to cut this out now. So I'm probably using this left over one to make the band. So I'll clip it aside. So, if you mean this, so this skirt I'm talking about here is a pleated skirt. So, for you to know, we are using the whole of this measurement. So, so the next thing you're going to start with now, you are going to measure a slant line. It won't be that slant very well, but it won't be a straight line. Up to seven inches, yeah? Seven inches. Then you make a small slant line. You can see it's not straight. Then this is a straight line. So from this straight line here, and this is our um, and this is a slant line. So from this straight line, I'm going to make a cuff too. So the deepness of my cuff here. From here, it's not going to up to up to three, so this is it's going to be two. So from here, this is two. Then don't forget the slant line. So from here, I'm going to make it more deeper over here to make it if to make it up to four inches. So from here, I'm going to make a cuff from these two inches up to four inches. Yeah. So from this, this is four inches deepest yet, and this is two inches. It's a curved line like this. So from here, you are going to make a, a slant line from here to where the beneath of the skirt. So here, the wideness of my skirt over here will not be more than ten inches. Don't forget, ten into four is forty inches. You can see this is my 10 inches over here so from this 10 inches i'm going to make a slant up here like this like this so after when you sketch out your measurement here then you are going to cut don't forget I side is a skirt and I didn't measure the hip side. It's, don't forget it's a drop skirt, so it does it's not a fitted skirt, so it doesn't need hip side. So if you want to take if you want to know maybe the 
scared to size the particular person you are taking the measurement for so you start from here no don't forget it's only it's the band so you take two up from this up you determine your hip size so from this this is your hip size so from your hips point rather so from here you measure the wideness of the hips here you can see this is 20 20 into 4 making 80 you can see it's extremely big so it's not something fitted it's not a fitted skirt so don't bother about the size so now i'm going to cut out my sketch to know to see how the skirt will be so i'm starting from here can see the way it is this is where you're going to make your pleating up to here and this is this one side and this is the side so I told you this is a pleated area so I'm going to sketch how you are going to pleat it you can if you like you can pleat it one one inches or one one and a half inches like this one half inches you get here and that one half inches when you get here and that one half inches get to you can see this is one half inches one half inches one half inches up to yeah, one the distance is one and a half inch. So if you are making your pleating, you have to let the distance be equal up here to one and a half inches. You're going to sketch one and a half inches up here too. You can see one and a half inches too. One and a half inches and this also one and a half inches so the all of here are going to be on the band they're going to make the pitting on the band and this is the drop area you can see this is where the dropping is going to be formed so this is your middle the center of the skirt this is it and this is the sides where your drop is going to be so when you open it you see what i'm saying let me open it for you to see. So this is how it's going to do. So by the time you've pleated all this space, your dropping is going to fall. It's going to fall when you pleat every area. So after when you pleat all this area to your bound, then you 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 stitch the side. Then it's on your the damp part here. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share. Bye.